So, uh, we've been reading Fountain Tomb um, as part of our, our unit, right? You guys just read uh, through chapter 10. Um, uh, so, today, at the beginning of today's class, we're going to take a sentence from chapter 10 and uh, take a little bit of time to look at the, the structure and the type of sentence that it, that it is and practice with that uh, structure a little bit. So, um, first, uh, I want to say that we, we do this um, even though it can, you know, grammar can be a little bit uh, tough at times. We do this because, uh, because it helps you um, when you are aware of how s different sentences uh, and st structures of sentences are used. It helps you to um, recognize those, understand when they're used, and be able to use them yourself, which is what well, you're writing uh, um, because you'll be able to more efficiently and um, successfully express complex ideas, right? So uh, this is our little quote that we're going to uh, look at. And so I want you to first um, just briefly partner up and um, in your, and maybe we'll have to do a group of three, and um, in that single group of three, uh, we will um, take a couple minutes to just work together and identify, uh, we've, we've been throughout the year working on recognizing parts of speech and parts of sentences. <laughs> and, uh, and so just take a little bit of time to, to, uh, to note what you recognize, and then we'll talk about what you recognize, and then we will look at this specific structure of the sentence. Does that sound good? Yeah. Here, okay. on. Sounds great. <laughs> um, You're here to participate. Yes. <coughs> so there's Nikita, gashes. please uh, write down uh -huh. your, yes. as you as we talk. Uh, yeah. Write down which which pieces you identify. Okay. Well, we've been learning that we probably should start with the subject and the verb. Yes. So, what do you guys think the subject should be? I don't know. I'm terrible at grammar. Is she the subject? Because um, it's a fond friendly relation to her. Yeah, but what would she be doing? The subject has to have some kind of action with it. What do you think it is? Well, my initial thought was neighborhood. I also mm -hmm. was hood. All right, let's go with neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Neighborhood. But the reason I thought that is because. Like, I know that there's that weird thing in the middle between the, the two dashes. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's something like a series. I don't know, though. Mm -hmm. Like a list? <laughs> yes, a but, list of three or more items. Okay. But Can after it, the, I yes. think maintains, that's a verb. Yes, that yes. is a verb. And so the neighborhood maintains could be our subject and our verb. Yes. Okay. That sounded very good. It sounded polished. <laughs> we rehearsed this. Right? Uh, Definitely have never seen this sentence before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comfortable with that. Hmm. Is there anything else that we think we can borrow? I guess we're not very good at this yet. No, I think we more. need. I think we may need some more work. We need. There are dashes, that's, but I don't know yeah. if we talked about that yet or not. As part of the sentence. Like, why are they periods, there? Or many commas. That's just, that's just punctuation. It's just identifying punctuation. Just identifying the commas. Yeah. Okay, so I think now let's see what you guys are able to come up with. I didn't hear any of it, so let's, <laughs> let's hear it and share it with the rest say that of all again. <coughs> yep, say it all again. Well, yeah, we determined that neighborhood is um, the subject of the sentence, with maintains being the verb. Yeah, so they're, they're broken up, which is weird. Um, 
but that's what we think it is. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Anything there's, else that you There's a weird sort of list in the middle, but we don't we didn't know what to do with it or there what is, to call it. There is a series of things here in the middle, and and you are right to notice that that is what is really going to be the main part of uh, what we're looking at now, which is yeah, which is the structure of the sentence, and that specific structure is uh, can be expressed simply uh, like this, okay? And it would be um, some version of subject, which you guys correctly identified as the neighborhood in the sentence, subject, and then separate separated by a m dash, meaning it's the it's a longer, a little bit of a longer dash, which can set apart um, uh, uh, another part of the sentence, right? And so in this case, it's a list of things, and what we call those in this are a positives. And here we have one, two, three, four. So I'm going to go APO, and you'll we'll know what that means for the rest of them, right? And, and so this, well, in this specific sentence, we have four, and then we have after it some more. And so, but very simply, you could express this structure that we're looking at as um, as subject followed separated by a dash with a positives. And what the a positives are are um, uh, modifications there uh, or representations, not modifications, but representations of the subject. Um, and so, if we just look at the actual meaning of this sentence, uh, what are each of these things? What are, what, what, what are they a part of? They're all part of the neighborhood. Exactly. Yes. And so, <laughs> and so these are all um, further uh, ways to express this, this subject. Um, and then it might be pieces of it, right? Like in this case, we have some separate pieces, but it might just be um, different words that are uh, that are also um, make up your subject, and so uh, and so in, in our specific sense, we have another m dash too after it, and we have some more. We have the verb over here, and even over here we have the uh, the uh, object, um, I believe, right here. And but that's uh, additional. Kind of information. The main structure that we're working with is this idea of a subject separated with the m dash and then a positives. So now comes a little bit of a challenging part. Um, I want you guys to individually on a sheet of paper um, uh, try and practice coming up with your own um, sentence with this kind of structure. Uh, and it could be it could be very similar to this one, or it could be simpler and something more like this, but something where you have a subject and then a positives separated by that, that dash uh, and, and see what you guys can come up with and we'll see. yeah. Does it have to be multiple positives? Um, it has to be, uh, I'd say, shoot for at least three that's because that's, that's generally how these sentences kind of work, yeah. Um, it's, it's, this one has four, but you could just say three, two, and it would be the same idea. But it's when you read these kinds of sentences, that's what they're going to usually end up sounding like. So I'd say shoot for, for trying to find uh, three for, your, for whatever your subject is. Does that make sense? So yeah. do or do not worry about putting a verb on the end. Don't, wherever the verb ends up fitting in your sense fine. is fine. The main key is that, is that the is this uh, structure. Got it, thank you. Mm -hmm. And when you guys are done, we'll see what you guys uh, came up with. 